So the project for today is this room. This is sort of uh, my room. It's the spare room where all of my stuff goes because my wife gets the master bedroom closet. So this is mine. Uh, I also dry my laundry. You guys know as I hang to dry in here. These all need to be put away. A lot of her stuff in here too, but <laughs> this is where my, I'm supposed to fit my stuff and I've got to make it a lot neater than this by the time she gets home from work. She comes home at, she's done work at 6.30. She might have to stay later if she has to, then she has to. She'll be home probably between 6.37. By that time, I want to have this room all set up and looking nice. We've got this closet or this shelf here, the closet there, all needs to be organized. A lot of this stuff needs to be brought out to our shed and locked up there. Let's see if I can get that, that done. One big project for today. And that's it, that's the whole house, guys. That's the whole thing. Wow. So Britt's dad and stepmom stopped by just for a quick visit on their way home. I believe they were just getting their campsite uh, south of Steinbeck all ready for winter. And then on their way home, they swung past here. It's good to see them again. And uh, I got distracted. I'm supposed to be cleaning up that room back there, but I, I ended up cleaning all the windows. Inside and out. I'm turning into a regular uh, house husband. It's happening to me. I need to get back to work. Speaking of, have I told you guys already? Uh, my load is a little different than we expected. Uh, it does end off in British Columbia, but the first drop is only on Tuesday in Yorkton, Saskatchewan, which is like seven hours from here. Seven hours? Not even seven hours, like four hours? Five hours? Just into Saskatchewan from Manitoba. So I don't have to leave until Monday midday, like around noon. Uh, Monday is Canadian Thanksgiving. Uh, for my American friends, it is exactly like your Thanksgiving, except it's better. <laughs> no, it's not really better. It's exactly the same thing. Uh, except we do ours in October and you do yours in November. Because we, uh, we have to be different from you. We are too similar in so many other ways. We have to make ourselves different. And that is one of the ways we did that. We will celebrate Thanksgiving a month earlier because we are more thankful. <laughs> I'm just joking. Yeah, our Thanksgiving is in October, uh, and yours is in November, I get it. But it is Canadian Thanksgiving on Monday. We're the same people, and same, we have the same history as the United States, as the Americans. Except the Americans split away from the British Empire, and they did things on their own, and they've done a very good job of it, they've made a very beautiful country. Canada, we stayed with the British. So we are what America would have been had they not gone independent. And America is what we would have been if we would have joined them. That's how I see it. I mean, there's a lot more history involved in there. There's a lot more to it than that. But that's why we're so similar. Canada and the U.S. were very similar because we're the same people with different histories. America is just, they're the rebels that decided to move out of the house. And we stayed living with mom and dad for a while. And now we're our own independent country. But the queen is still our head of state. And you have the president as your head of state. You get to vote on your head of state every four years. We do not. However, we have a prime minister that we get to vote on every four years. And him or her and their party get to govern Canada without interference from the throne in British. In Britain. In British. In the British. The British throne. You know what I meant. So, honestly, the Queen could come in here. She still does have a full veto in Canada. Just like the president does in the United States. She could, but she hasn't. We have governed ourselves without interference. We've uh, crafted our own constitution and our own charter of rights here in Canada without interference from the throne. However, we're still tied to them. It's, it's Anyway, that's not what this is about. Our Thanksgiving usually lines up, and our holidays in general, usually line up with British holidays uh, more so than America. In November is our Remembrance Day, which is the same as the U.S. Veterans Day. Uh, but again, you'll see similar similarities with Canada and Britain. We uh, have the poppy, that red flower that we wear on Remembrance Day. 
that reminds us of the fallen soldiers that died to give us our freedom. And uh, it's very similar. Yeah. But November is Remembrance Day. And then right after Remembrance Day, we kick it into full gear for Christmas. At least in this house we do. So Remembrance Day and the day after Remembrance Day, Christmas begins. Now, not every Canadian is as gung-ho about Christmas as we are, but hey, I may not speak for all of them, but I'm one of them. And we love Christmas. It's our favorite time of year, and it's coming closer and closer. A few more holidays first, and then we'll start talking about it more. Anyways, back to the room. We gotta finish this. It doesn't look any different. I moved those blankets. That's progress. Yeah, we won't look at that. Um, there's not very much storage at this place. I mean, in our backyard here, we have that big shed, which is actually very big. It's bigger than it looks on camera. And uh, that tin shed, which is also bigger than it looks like on camera. And then we have this here. It's like a big carport. We're getting rid of that though. But for the time being, we're using it for temporary storage until we can figure out what else we want to get rid of. We have to get rid of a lot. That carport is, it's pretty full. It is what it is, right? So this is my closet. All of my goodness in here. My wife, like I was telling you before, has uh, this entire closet. I won't even go into it. I will not touch it because I am a smart husband. You don't touch your wife's stuff. Okay. Let's continue trying to organize this. This has to, especially this. This has to be cleared out. This has to be, uh, this has to be better than this. It's amazing how fast I can just run out and get gas now. All right, well, I think it looks better. It is what it is. It's about as neat as it's gonna get, I think. Britt's just getting off work. She's on her way home. So I can stop pacing around aimlessly, not knowing what to do with myself. What you doing over here? Trying to cook dinner. What are you doing? I'm peeling the world's smallest carrots out of mom's garden. <laughs> well, yeah, those are natural grown right in her garden. That's they look right. delicious, but they're a lot of work. Worth Diesel it. and Worth Chevy, it. they all agree they look very delicious. Okay, you guys can, can, you guys can have the first one. Can the we? rest are for me and dad. I'm just kidding, you'll get more. While I've been working here this morning, Someone went and got Tim Horton's breakfast. I made breakfast. Oh, you are such a good cook. Thank you. Wow, just the way I like it. I knew it. Timmy's. Thank you. You're welcome. Anyways, we didn't really have an end to the video yesterday, so I'm just putting it together for you here. It was a short video today. Not much going on, but I did get that room all cleaned up. You saw it. What did you think? Let's get the wife's... Let's get the wife's opinion. What do you think of the room I cleaned up? Hashtag impressed. Whoa. Hashtag impressed. Mm -hmm. True story. That's, 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 that's more impressed than Diesel would be if you gave him a bite of your hash brown. Yeah, but somebody over here is gluten free, so we can't be playing favorites. Plus, none of you are my favorite. You're all my favorite. My son is gluten free. And poultry free. And poultry free. He's allergic to everything. Mm -hmm. Seriously, if you if you give it to him, he'll have the runs for days. And skin rashes. And skin rashes, yeah. Oh, here comes another one. Old man, I, I heard you got the Timmy's. <laughs> You're an American. Thought you guys didn't <laughs> like Timmy's. You brat, get down. 
No, I think they like Timmy's. They just don't have access to Timmy's. Unless ah. if they're in the northern, northeastern states, there's a lot of Timmy's there. But there they're competing with Dunkin' Donuts, which is like American Timmy's. Mm. It's really good though. Dunkin' Donuts pretty, but the food at Dunkin' Donuts isn't nearly as good as the food at Timmy's. The coffee's pretty much on par. Okay. Yeah, and good the prices are. Coffee's meh. Meh, but if you add espresso <laughs> shot to it, woo! I gotta end this video here. It was short, I know. Uh, but tomorrow's another day. And uh, well, happy Thanksgiving. Tomorrow is uh, a Monday. Thanksgiving here in Canada. So uh, we'll uh, talk to you later. I hope you guys are all enjoying family and uh, taking it easy. <laughs>